This luggage isn't the only baggage that's coming back to Michigan with me. Today I am packing for my trip back to Michigan. I just got luggage two hours ago from a thrift store. I've gotta get going. My flight is super early tomorrow morning, so I wanna make sure that I have everything good to go today. Now, I do not have a super big suitcase and I will be gone for four weeks, so I'm just gonna do what I can to make it work. If I need to buy more clothes while I'm in Michigan, I guess I'm gonna have to do it. How dirty is it back then? Lots of dust. Dust. And that dog hair. The bus definitely looks like a tornado came through it. It looks like it just exploded. We gotta put it all back together, but I gotta get all my stuff first. Honey, what happened to your baby? Honey, he dead. Look what you do. Four seconds. He's a goner. His whole entire face ripped off. Oh my gosh. The cutest baby. Yes. You're a baby? This is my first in and out experience. I've never had in and out before. How to do it while I'm still in California. Gonna be messy. Let's get, you wanna grab paper plates quick? Fry guy did not do his job. These are not like cooked long enough. Oh, they're not super crispy. <laughs> All right, food reviews. Okay. Yeah, it's real good, just real greasy and what I remember it to be. It's not like you're gonna have the most amazing burger when you go to In-N-Out. It's just kind of a California experience thing. Yeah. All right, what'd you think? <clears throat> I am glad that I experienced In-N-Out. I still like Culver's better. We'll see if that was really the best decision for me to do before I get on a <laughs> flight really early tomorrow. <laughs> I'm feeling like Probably not. All right, friends, it is 5.30. I know it looks like it's midnight, but it's not. I need to finish up packing. I'm a little nervous. I don't know why, it's just a domestic flight. And if I need something, I can go and get it. I just don't wanna forget anything that I feel like I need, because it is gonna be four-ish weeks. I just gotta get packing, gotta get going, gotta get it done. It's not easy when you don't have a lot left, I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh, maybe it would have been easier to get a small plastic bottle. Come on, Kels, come on. Holy smokes. Okay, I feel pretty good about what I'm packing so far. Normally I would pack less, but I'm just using the stuff that I have so I don't have to buy new stuff in Michigan and waste plastic and buy more stuff. Feeling pretty good about my progress so far. We'll see how much I can fit into my little suitcase. Step two, getting my clothes figured out. This should be fine. Most importantly, I've gotta get my gym outfits together. This is for you light dark. These are my normal, um, gym shorts usually i used to be a leggings gal don't usually do that anymore it's usually shorts and a sports bra because why not bright orange ones purple i go for my classic black that's the only actually i only have three pairs of like short shorts okay here's what we've got for clothes for four weeks got two pairs of jeans a couple tank tops for under cardigans, one jacket, and a couple sweaters and sweatshirts, two nice dresses, and some gym outfits. And then I'm taking like a pair of nice boots and another pair of Vans. I feel like that's pretty good. Let me know what you think. If I pack too much, it's four weeks. I want to be one of those people who dress nice when they go to the airport or even like cute casual i just feel like 
that's not gonna be the vibe that I want when I wake up at five, or uh, well, my plane board's at 5.24 a.m. When I have to wake up at three in the morning, I am not going to want to wear jeans. <sighs> Take care of your future self, Kelsey. You don't have to wear jeans. Just dress comfy. Oh no, this is so much, this suitcase is so much smaller than what I thought it was gonna be. Oh shit. Oh shoot. How am I gonna do this? Shit, this takes a lot of space. What the heck? Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> How many times can I say that? There's gotta be a better way to do this. Oh, you probably just heard my existential crisis. I, oh my. I thought that I, I thought I could easily fit all my clothes into a carry-on. <laughs> I guess I just underestimated like the size of sweaters. What? Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is gonna be a struggle. This is not even that much clothes. Oh geez. Okay. I, I will make it work. Make it work. It's a good time for a shot. Sugar, lemon. Danny got us the worst freaking tequila. It tastes like bottom shelf bar tequila. Ugh, this gives me nightmares. Okay, here we go. Ooh. <laughs> That's what my suitcase looks like right now. I could probably close it. <laughs> Why'd you just go? <laughs> <laughs> wow, I don't know if I could be one carry on gal. At least not for winter. Okay. I can do it. genuinely cannot believe I'm just driving a car right now. Naturally, my first stop is Starbucks. It feels so weird to be here. It feels so weird. I have such complicated emotions right now. I think the cheese is Starbucks. Can I get back? Hi, can I get a grande iced caramel macchiato with oat milk, please? Also, I need to know what the best like um, drinks are for winter drinks for Starbucks. I know a few people who would know. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's go home. It's been challenging to navigate the mix of emotions I feel coming back home. I'm nervous and excited. There's a comforting sense of nostalgia mixed with an overwhelming sense of grief. So much has happened here. I grew up here, got married here, built a home in these neighborhoods. But there's also a lot of people and memories I wish I could forget. For now, I've been holding tight to the comforting feelings being back in Michigan brings me. Cozy winter towns, the way my sister-in-law decorates her house for Christmas, seeing my best friend, and breathing through the challenging emotions. I am stronger than I give myself credit for. Being back in my hometown reminds me of just how far I've come. And for that, I'm thankful. <laughs> 